Aries. Hi, this is Renee. <clears throat> Aries, this is going to be your February love reading. If you have anywhere in your chart, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising, this reading is for you. What's going on for Aries in love? Let's get into this. Forgive my voice, I'm catching a cold, so... I'm trying to get these readings done before I totally lose my voice. So, bear with me. Okay, Aries. We have... Step out of your comfort zone and try something new. At the bottom we have Gratitude Rampage. List 10 things that you're thankful for. You know, Aries, I'm feeling like <clears throat> I'm feeling like you're you're like in this spot to where you're getting kind of bored with your situation. I feel like you have a need to step out of your comfort zone. Um, you're trying to find more excitement away from the mundane daily activities, you know. Uh, we have surrender. I can release the need to control. So, you may need to surrender um, to your situation. We also have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So, yeah, I feel like you're going through something, um, Aries. I feel like like you're bottling up your emotions. Like you have all this energy to do something, but you're not making any moves. You're not taking any steps. Um, we have denial at the bottom. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So... I, I feel like you're trying to get an understanding of something. Um, maybe you're not having any contact with someone who you care about. Or maybe you're just going through this situation to where you're, you're waiting on love to come and you feel like it's not going to find you. Um, let's see. Let's get some more information for Aries and love. Let's see what's going on with Aries spirits. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The King of Wands. And I definitely feel like you're looking for some more passion. This may be your current situation. You may feel very passionate about a situation. In the month of February, I feel like the King of Wands is... that This is a person that's coming forward for you. If this is a new person or if this is someone who is already in your life. See, we have the tower. Oh, wow. Okay. A lot of changes coming forward. Let's get some more information. The Queen of Swords. Okay. And the Justice card. Okay. Okay, I see this now. Okay, Aries. I feel like if this is you already in a relationship, I feel like there's a lot of changes about to happen. I feel like some of them changes you're not able to control. Uh, the King of Wands is a lot of passion, a lot of assertiveness, someone moving forward, uh, a lot of forward movement, um, bold and daring, kind of courage. Um, I feel like this tower is bringing a lot of change. The Queen of Swords, there's going to be a lot of communication. If you're in this relationship with this King of Wands energy, I feel like this King of Wands is feeling like there needs to be changes to be made. This is a fire sign. This could be, this could be you, Aries, feeling like you need to have changes. You need some change, some excitement, 
definitely moving out of your, your comfort zone and finding more excitement in your life. I feel like I feel like you're kind of stuck in boredom. Um, but I feel like with this Queen of Swords energy, I feel like this is you communicating. Letting someone know exactly how you feel. Kind of putting yourself out there. Putting yourself first, you know. Um, putting your feelings first. And I feel like this is you gaining your balance on the situation. You're you're finding your balance. You're you're becoming more aware of what is making you happy and what it takes to make you happy. And I feel like this tower is the to total realization of you being able to put yourself first. You may be in a relationship with another fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, or another Aries. But I'm really feeling like this is your energy, Aries. See, we have the Three of Wands. Okay. You're growing. You're expanding. This is forward movement. Are you moving away from this situation? Yes. You're moving away from a situation because you feel like you feel like something's holding you back. Something is being taken away from you. You're kind of losing yourself in the situation. With the Seven of Swords right underneath the tower, I feel like this is change coming through that you have been betrayed. You've been betrayed. But I feel like once you speak your truth, once you get the communication out there, you feel more balanced. You're finding your happiness. You're finally putting yourself in the forefront and not being in the back, you know, in the shadows. I feel like you're, you're totally putting yourself first. And I feel like you're protecting something. You're protecting some kind of information. Some kind of desire that you have. You're protecting it. You're, you don't want anybody to know your full intentions just yet. You know? Um, I feel like you're looking for your long-term stability. Your long-term happiness. And getting out of your comfort zone and trying new things is going to bring you more happiness, more desire, more adventure. Um, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So definitely you're looking for more independence. To be self-sufficient. You know, you're looking for that stability. And I feel like that stability just... It's just not there at the moment, but that is exactly what you have your mind set on. Um, gaining your independence. You may be leaving a situation. You're leaving this tower moment. Because of some something that had happened. Someone betrayed you. And you're totally looking for your happiness. You're looking for that happy beginning. Yeah, you feel left out. You feel excluded. Like there's like there's something in your life that's lacking. You just can't put a finger on it. You're you're just You're just trying to figure things out. I feel like I feel like you're, at the moment, I feel like you're lacking desires. I feel like you have a lot of plans, a lot of wishes and goals. But you, like, lack the energy to set them in motion. You know? Um, I feel like this Four of Cups energy... This is you not wanting to put your energy into anything at the moment. Because I feel like you feel really excluded. 
you feel totally left out. Huh. Knight of Swords. And the Two of Swords. Okay, yeah, there's definitely choices that you need to make. There's some kind of choice that needs to happen in this situation, Aries. Um, you need to just put your plans into action, set them into motion, and make your choice. Make your desires a reality. I feel like you're at a crossroads. You kind of don't know whether to stay. You don't know whether to go. You don't know you know which destination um I'm, i feel a lot of confusion when i'm tapping into your energy i feel like like there's like a lot of lack of movement um <clears throat> and i feel like the past is holding you back there's someone in your past that's kind of ha has a hold on you in a way that it's kind of blocking you from movement you could be thinking about the past, about a past relationship or something that just didn't go the way you planned it. And I feel like these memories, this nostalgia is kind of keeping you stuck. Keeping you stuck in the situation of feeling left out, feeling bored. But we have the Six of Wands, so... Your energy is changing. Where you once felt like you were being left out. Like you were being unappreciated. Unnoticed. Now with the six of wands. You're being recognized. People are now looking at you. They're now taking notice. So maybe where you were looking for love. And you felt like no one was looking your way. Um... I feel like those doors are being opened because of some certain choice that you made to let go of the past. And now, now once you let go of the past and start moving forward, start making those moves, putting yourself out there, you know, being around people, socializing, you're going to set your attention to be more recognized. Aries, you're a beautiful being. You're very attractive. You you will be seen for exactly who you are. And I feel like there's someone taking notice. There's someone who wants to give you some kind of offer. There's someone who wants to give you some kind of news that you was expecting. And, you know, I feel like this could be as small as someone noticing just how attractive you are are noticing um, maybe that you changed your hair or that you changed your dress or you know something of that nature but I feel like you know that's like the first step we have the nine of cups <clears throat> nine of cups energy this is wish fulfillment this is being more happy in your life something that you're wishing for is coming true and I feel like this is you finding more contentment in your situation. If you're looking for love, I feel like you're going to get an offer of love. Um, but you need to move past these feelings of the past before you can move forward. Yeah, those feelings are holding you back. Those feelings are block boxing you in. The Nine of Swords, this is, this is fear. This is mental health. This is having to concentrate on your health, on your mental state, you know. And by concentrating on your mental state, you're going to bring more happiness. You're going to bring more fulfillment. Um, <clears throat> even if you need to look for a professional to help you through the situation, um, but actually diving deep will help recover some information. I definitely feel like you have the need to communicate. You have the, you have the need to speak your truth. And I feel like when you speak your truth, Aries, you're going to have a breakthrough. Um, you're going to come to a lot of 
realizations, a lot of clarity is going to come to you. See, yeah, there's change coming your way. You're, you're, you're hitting a turning point. Things are starting to move in the direction you wanted to go in. And I feel like, you know, in this month of February, sometimes if you're single, this can be a really hard month. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but, Aries, I feel like you know, this is a turning point for you. You're hitting a breakthrough. Oh my gosh. And by working on yourself, working on your intentions, setting your goals, um, being in the right headspace, this opens you up for love. This opens up new love opportunities coming through for you. If you're open to love, here it is. You know, you just have to reach out and take it. Um, I feel like... I feel like you've, you've been through a lot in the month of February. And it's just... I, I feel like this person that's coming in, this love, is going to be transforming. It's going to... Put a lot of things to rest and revive a lot of things. You know, it's a transformation. It's, you know, the bad things ending so good things can happen uh, kind of situation. So I feel like this love that's coming through is very unexpected. And I feel like with the King of Swords, this is... very thoughtful energy you know uh, the king of swords it may be a Libra Gemini or Aquarius that's coming through as your love but I feel like the person that's coming through is very intelligent they have a very high intellect they're very smart they're very communicative you know, that they communicate very well. And they let you know what they're feeling and how they're feeling. Because sometimes the King of Swords, they can come off as kind of cold, kind of stern, kind of, you know, at cutting edge. But the, the King of Swords, he's telling you his truth. He's, you know, not... <clears throat> He's not sugarcoating anything. He's letting you know just how things are for them. So, you know, I feel like this person, they're not going to sugarcoat anything. They're going to be open and communicative about, you know, whatever's on their mind. And I feel like, I feel like you kind of are accepting on this King of Swords energy. Because with the Seven of Pentacles... You know, this is being patient, you know, waiting on this successful moment to arrive. You know, they're putting in, in, in the work and expecting an effort. <clears throat> but, I mean, it, it's also, you know, are the fruits worth the effort, you know. And I, I feel like it is. I feel like whatever's coming forward for you is going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. This is longevity, you know, a reason for celebration. This is two coming into union. So, yeah, you have the lovers and the four of wands. So I feel like Aries, when you least expect it, this is what's coming. And I feel like... You're very surprised. You're very overwhelmed by the situation. But I feel like you feel like you can make it, you know. You feel like this is what you've been waiting for. Yeah, you have the Ten of Pentacles. You feel like this is what you've been waiting for. 
this is bringing you happiness and joy. You're able to look upon the future and make your plans. You know, this, this is something that you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for results. Uh, you and this person may also be making travel plans. Um, trying to find that perfect destination. Let's get some clarifying cards for Aries. Let's get some clarifying cards for Aries. What is this message for Aries? Tell me more about this message for Aries. Yeah, the Three of Cups. You're going to come together in celebration. You may meet this person at some, some kind of social gathering. Some kind of event. This could be for work or this could be for family. Um, this could be just a social gathering. Some kind of place where people meet up and, you know, interact. Could be, I, I hate to say it, but it could be a bar. <laughs> it could be a tavern. You know, um, <clears throat> see, what other message do we have for Aries? Yeah, the Queen of Wands. So this creates more passion, more excitement in your life. This is taking you totally out of your comfort zone and placing you in this new and exciting environment. So with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like... This person sees you as very self-sufficient, very independent on your own. But I feel like together, you take that independence, you take that self-sufficiency to another level. You know, this person sees you as very wealthy, very giving, very uh, stable and solid. And I feel like this person is also bringing you a different point of view. They may want to do things that you have never thought about doing. Th chances that you have never wanted to take. I feel like you're coming into that different sp perspective. Ready to take those chances. Ready to take those leaps of faith. Um, you're, you're totally coming into this new awareness. You're, you're getting this new spark. This new feeling of being alive. This new feeling of being aware. You know? <clears throat> you have new ideas. New beliefs. New perspectives. This is a gift. Look at this. We have the Two of Cups. Yeah, this is a union. This is a union being developed... And it's bringing a lot of change. A lot of good fortune. This is a total turning point for you. Aries. And I feel like. I feel like it's kind of coming out of the blue. Because I feel like you really don't expect it. I feel like you have kind of given up hope. On this situation. That's the reason why you're kind of caught up in this grief. In this. Feeling of needing change you know okay for you we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy in your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in so and i believe this is what's coming forward for you in the month of february aries there's going to be a lot of new adventure a lot of new uh possibilities and now the cars just want to come flying out Okay, we have, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give it to yourself. So yeah, I feel like your focusing on yourself is changing your perspective. You were actually able to put yourself first and take a step back and totally view yourself in a different light. And I, I believe that kind of took you out of your comfort zone of where you like to be at. And it's kind of giving you another perspective. When it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you're getting this different understanding. This different perspective. 
Let's take a look at this person that's coming forward for you in love. Tell me about them. Tell me about them, Spirit. Okay, we have this one. We have wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So it's important not to rush the process. The process is going to happen in its own divine timing. Don't try to force something. Let it happen naturally. And my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So this may, can be someone that you meet online or someone that you meet in a social setting. Um, but I feel like there may be some distance between you. You may not see each other on a regular basis to start with. Um, I feel like there's some no, some period of no contact. There's a distance between you. See, we have freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So yeah, I feel like... You and this person are kind of on the same page. You're kind of pursuing the same gifts, the same um, goals and achievements. Um, this person may have been single for a while as well. Um, but they're looking for change as well. Let's see. Let's get some more cards. Let's get a card for you. The Chaser. So someone's going to be chasing you. Someone wants to get to know you better. And they they may be kind of pursuing you. They may hit you up on the DM. Um, contact you on the down low. <laughs> you know. Um, but I feel like this person is contacting you. For them we have the engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity completion and union so I feel like this person is looking for a long time commitment they want something that's going to last something that's going to endure they're looking for their lifelong partner and we also have outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head so yeah I feel like this person that's coming into your life they have very traditional beliefs and very traditional outlook. Uh, so I, I feel like their beliefs may be on the traditional side to where you know they are looking for a commitment, they are looking for uh, certain standards, you know, where it may not be totally relevant for our day and age, but I feel like this person really believes chivalry is really coming into my mind at the moment. I, I really hear chivalry. Um, like, chivalry is dead, you know? And I, I feel like it's a shame chivalry is dead. So I feel like this person is very traditional. They're thinking more on a traditional line, you know? Let's get some more... Oracle cards. I want to know more about this. Let's see. What else do we have for Aries? Raise your vibration. Okay. Be more positive. Step out of your comfort zone. Speak positive things into your life, Aries. And manifestation. This is something that you're manifesting. You're bringing this into life. And I feel like by raising your positive vibration, you're able to manifest this much easier into your life. You're able to manifest this much faster by raising your vibration and by trusting the universe. Everything happens in its own divine timing. So... I feel like when this when this comes through, we have listened deeply. So I feel like the universe is telling you to listen to your intuition. Listen very closely 
to to things that are happening um, because I feel like they're going to be very important. Okay, Aries, this is your reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. I'll have them all loaded up by tomorrow. Um, so Aries, until your next reading, many blessings, love, and light.